So I've just got to another EICR. I've loaded all my gear in. I'm gonna have a quick look around. Um, I've not seen anything either. So this is the first time I'm seeing everything. Okay. This looks like TNCS. Old style 3036s, rewirables. Oh, one of the, those uh, voltage operated um, devices. Uh, you can see the gas, that looks like 10 mil. Looks like it used to be a continuous bond that's been taken out. Generally have a quick look around. Check things are working. Close to look at the consumer unit. I've already noticed that. Whatever the fuck happened there. I can see it looks like a TNCS, but I don't actually see any connection here. You know, this no, this doesn't go to the consumer unit. I don't see anything here. I'll take the cover off to find out, but I actually don't see any earth conductor, main earthing conductor. Um, and these voltage operated uh, like circuit breakers. I think they were back in the 80s. Um, now there are a lot more <laughs> cleverer people on here who probably can explain it better, but put it simply, the fault needs or needed to pass through here for this to operate. And of course now with parallel paths, with um, gas and water protective bonding, and even yourself, if you're lower resistance than this coil needed to operate, you would get the fault, which is why this isn't reliable and should be uh, taken out and removed. No circuit descriptions. So let's um, crack on. Okay. That's obviously out of use. Someone's going to scribble on there. Looking at the earths, I can see there's quite a few big earths in there. What the fuck that is? That looks like the wrong size fuse wire for the carrier. That'll get marked down. Lights. Probably some kind of ring turned into a radial. This looks like a ring but someone spurred off to do something. I don't know, boiler, immersion heat or something off the top of my head. All right, yeah, that isn't right. Uh, oh, that sounded fucking ropey. Should have done that first really before I opened the board, but I got fucking excited. All right. Let's get all these details right, typed up on my certificate, and then I'll start with circuit number one. Well, 
not this one. I probably won't do this one at all if the fuse is removed. I'll probably disconnect it now. Although actually looking behind there, I can see that looks like fuse wire. Someone's done something in there. We'll have a look at that. I'm just gonna disconnect this, but this looks fucking ropey. Yeah, look at that. So that, that is unbelievable. So that, that cable is still, that has always been still live. Regardless of what this happened, whatever happened here, that is still live or would have still been live, whatever happened. Right, there's, there's quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, 10 mils. That might be a 16th, but I can't see. I mean, I can't verify which one is which. So I can put for my Zeddy. So I'm going to try and I'm going to eliminate like by process of elimination. I, I'm going to do an R2 on the gas and the water to eliminate two of them. And there's obviously there's two that come in here, I think, into this device and it might eliminate it down to the one. But I can't see it. I mean, maybe there's a rod outside. I haven't thought of that. Maybe there's a rod outside to my I'll, I'll have a look. But yeah, let me find the bonds and get rid of those so I know what I'm left with. Right, I found the water stop pot and um, looks like there's two 10 mils on there at the moment. It's not very, it's not very, it's not very fucking tight. I'll take them off one uh, and then long lead them. I've done the gas, so I found that. So let's see what these two are. Right, so. Know the leads. There we go. I've got the gas one there, as you can see. So if I go through the others, so that one, that one there, nothing. Uh -huh. That one, fantastic. So that is the water. I'll identify that one now. By the way, I'm doing all this with the installation isolated, and I am keeping them disconnected so I don't get any introduce any parallel paths whilst I'm doing it. All right, I'm trying to find out where this extra earth is going from. I've taken the mountain board off, look behind, and it goes straight down a channel, like down here. So... Right. That wasn't... That was unsuccessful. I'm not getting up all the fucking carpets just to find it. So I'm going to just see if any of the, I get a reading off, off of any of these. So I'll go on this one. That's not right. Okay. Let's try this one. Got a reading. It's quite high. Could be a rod. Could be fine if it was a rod. Um, found the water, found the gas. That goes to that device there. And I think the other earth goes down somewhere. Perhaps they could upgrade to a PME or I could put a rod in, perhaps. Well, I can't find the rod. It's not accessible, I can't inspect it, I can't test it. I got 60 odd ohms on this one, but that's going down certainly as an FI. And right, next uh, circuit, I think it's circuit two. Um, I imagine there's some kind of a, a boiler or immersion here. I checked downstairs already where the current boiler is, and that's, uh, that's off of the downstairs. Ring. So, let's 
so I did spot like a cupboard in this bedroom where there probably used to be 